this is Stampy and welcome to a Terraria Let's Play video. I am bringing you a video inside of Stampy's wonderful world and I'm here being joined by Mr. Elfily, a familiar face if you've seen any of my videos. He follows me no matter what game I'm playing and always by my side and I'm very grateful for it, uh, especially in this video because uh, we got another dangerous video. I haven't learned my lesson. In my last video I went to a dungeon and died twice and today I'm going to go somewhere equally, if not more dangerous. So that, that'll that be fun. <laughs> if not fun for me, hopefully fun for you watching my failure. Uh, but yeah, it's just become night. So this is probably the worst time for me to do it. And I'm going to the corruption. So um, if we just look on my map here, I could have gone to the one to the right. Uh, but I feel like I've been going right too much. I'm going to go to the left. And I'm yeah, I'm going to try going down here. <laughs> it seems to be a massive corruption area. And just look at that pit. Just look at that straight vertical drop down there. That's where we're going. And luckily, we seem to have also just been joined by Choo Choo. Uh, who was my bodyguard in the last video. And a little bit of a hero, if i got to be honest. <laughs> there was a time when I was literally just about to die. And he just charged in and killed everyone. So he's definitely a good person to have. Although, to be fair... I think my big worry isn't getting killed by things punching me in the face or shooting at me, although that is a worry, as you might understand. My biggest worry is that I'm just going to drop and kill myself, because that's a really embarrassing way to die, and also a very likely way to die. I mean, did you see the drop? Did you see how far we got to go down, all the way down there? Um, I mean, I got my rocket boots, but... I don't know if I'm very good at using them yet, so um, yeah, hopefully I can maybe grapple my way down, I guess will be the safest way. Um, but first, we've got to be able to get there safely, so we should be okay. I'm also, of course, being joined by my super amazing slime bluey, uh, who is always there by my side and flying behind me. I kind of just like flying up just to see him fly up and fly back down. And oh, no, look, we got a Longbow as well. we got a full party join us. Uh, Longbow, welcome to the game. And um, we're far over to the left if you want to kind of join our little crew. We've got a nice little group of us here all journeying down together. This is awesome. And I've never been down to the corruption before. I don't know what's down there. Oh, is that the tunnel right there? Are we right on it already? Uh, let me just check the map once again. I think this is it. Is that the big drop? Oh no, there's a little one. There's like a little mini drop down here. I might go down this one first, you know? You know, if you go to like a playground, they got like the big slide and they got like the little play slide next to it. I think this is like the practice. Um, right, okay, I'm going to get my grappling hook ready. I'm going to try and grapple my way down. <gasps> Did you see that? Did you see how close I was to hitting the floor? That might have very hurt me or killed me. Right, okay. Come on, guys, you, you lead the way, and if I see you die in front of me, I'll know not to go down. <laughs> you can be like my budgie down the uh, down the mine, and uh, if it's dangerous, you can let me know. Okay, well, I think going back this way uh, is just leading out of the corruption. I think this is leading back down to, like, uh, some sort of underground jungle. Oh, there is some silver down here, though. And what's that? What's on Longbow's head? What are you wearing? Come here, come here, Longbow. Come stand next to me, and let's have a look at you. What What is that? Is that a fish tank? Have you got a fish bowl on your head? And if you do have a fish bowl on your head, why haven't you thrown it to me so I can try it on? <laughs> Honestly, if it would suit me with my big afro. Come on, let me have a go. Come on, let me. I'll give it back, Lombo. I promise. I won't steal it like all of the other stuff I normally steal from you. Uh, has, has he thrown it? Have I got it? Um... And I don't seem to have anything. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's a fish bowl. <laughs> it's just a vanity item. It's just something to look cool. Oh, that is absolutely amazing. Longbow, if I can borrow it for the rest of this video, don't say anything. There we go. It's settled. Looks like I can wear this. <laughs> and is there a chest down here as well? Jolly good. Like, let's see what we're going to get. What loot we're going to find. Um, I'm going to get attacked by a big old worm. Uh, night vision, some shurikens, and some monies. I can't moan about that. Uh, anyway, I don't really want to go down this way. I, I want to go into the corruption. That was the, the aim of the video. So if I head back up here, take out a few little googlies that are going after me with the help of my buddies. <laughs> Try not to drown while I'm wearing my uh, fishbowl helmet. And here we go, back into the corruption. You can see all of the uh, the eaters when you go into the corruption. Oh, is this a dead end? I, th I think there wasn't anything down this little training one. Okay, that was a good practice, though. It was a good practice going down a big drop. I'm ready for the big one, though. I'm ready for the big whoop. Right, I think if I cut through this way, uh, it will eventually just lead us to something else down here. I'm going to put torches absolutely everywhere. Even though it doesn't stop stuff spawning, it allows me to see, uh, see stuff. Right, um, let's go then. Grab on. Oh, no, I'm getting attacked as well. Go and grapple your way down. 
I think this is the easiest way to do it if you just grapple your way down like this. And yeah, I've literally no idea what I'm going to find down here. I think you can get... Uh, there's a thing, I think it's called a demon altar or something along those lines. Some thing down here, which when you do something to it, I don't know, when you rub it or do something to it, uh, it makes it so like a meteorite falls or something. And I think that's when you get the uh, the materials you need to make a lightsaber. I think that might be right. I'm not sure, though. Seems to be a bit of a dead end down here, though. There's a weird glowing thing down in the bottom right-hand corner, but I don't think there's much down here. I don't, I don't know if I can mine through this stuff. I, I don't think so. I think you need one of those fancy drills. Oh, here we go. Longbow's got a big old drill, and he's got us down a little bit deeper. Oh, what's that? There's, like, a weird purple ball down here. Oh, what's this thing? This might be the thing. Oh, a horrible chill goes down my spine. Oh, it's not a boss, is it? There's not a boss coming, is there? I got a horrible chill. Saying that, it's boiling hot in my room. I don't have much of a chill in real life. What is, what is, what, what is it? Is it a boss coming? What's happened? Or maybe, maybe that was the thing that activates that, that meteor falling or something. There's a few more of these weird things. I think you can use these to craft a little bit later on in the game, but I don't think I can do that yet. Um... I don't know what that means. I guess there was going to be some sort of big old googly coming down my way. And be careful, just flinging your bombs all over the place like a madman. <laughs> it, it is working though. It is helping us get down deeper. I, I love it. I just love the complete mystery. Like, I'm kind of glad that I'm still a noob at this game and I've still got stuff to explore. People that have been playing non-stop, you know, they've kind of learned everything and they're sort of running out of things to do. Everything's all new and exciting for me and that's the way I like it. Um, I, I guess we keep digging down here. Look, there's another one of those those, those weird orange, um, not orange, sorry, the purple ball things. Uh, could one of the people with the drills, could one of my mining crew try and uh, see if they can make your way down to that ball and try not to do anything? Let me, let me have a look at it and try and work out for myself what, what this thing is and what it's supposed to do. Um, what, what is it? Can I interact with it at all? Can I place a torch on it? Um, right, let's just try whacking it then, shall we? When in doubt, just attack it. I try using a weapon. I don't seem to be able to do anything to it. Screams echo around you. A meteorite has landed. That is, that's what I was talking about. Right, everyone to the surface. Everybody up. Let everyone try and find the meteorite. I think Lombo's trying to trying to explain it to me here in this uh in this sign. Goblin army will attack. What? What? Why? Why would we do this? Why? Why would you destroy that ball if a goblin army is going to attack? Right, everyone, get to arms. Everybody, get your weapons ready and be ready for the battle. The goblin army is coming. I've been waiting for this day. That fiendish goblin army. <laughs> you know what they're like, right? Okay, time to try and grapple my way out. I guess. Oh, I'm running out of rocket boots. No, 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 no! Don't fall! Don't fall! Oh, this is hard. Oh, and there's all little eaters coming after me as well. Oh, I wish I, I wish I had those wings like everyone else has. Oh, come on, I'm not going to die. I know what to do. I can use my magic mirror. There we go. Straight back home. Are they going to attack my house? Where are they going to attack me from then? Um, I don't know. I, I can have a quick look at my map and just see if there's there's like a big group of mobs coming my way. Uh, there's a few down there. That doesn't look much like a goblin army. I'm sure that's like two zombies by themselves. Can you see any, any armies? Are they going to come from the, the dungeon, do you reckon? Are they going to come from down where we were? Should I have stayed down there? I, I, I don't know. Could could someone who isn't a complete noob please put down a sign and let me know what is going on? Because you can't put a statement like the goblin army is going to attack and then just stay stum and don't tell me where or how or what I should do or how far away I should run to or whatever. <laughs> there we go. Looks like Lombo's putting down a sign. Um, right, have I got what I need? I got a few more items there. I got my weapons. I got a whole load of potions on me. I get my bow and arrow ready. I got my... I got all my, my helpers with me. My Terraria army. <laughs> right, Stampy's army against the Goblin army. Round one. Let's try and take them on. And I want to know where the meteorite struck. I don't know whether I'd be able to see it on the map. I assume I would. I don't know if it's just going to leave a big crater in the ground. Or maybe... I, d I don't know. I kind of wanted to see it first hand. Oh, there we go. Look. I think it's crashed down there over to the left. Right, let's go and investigate there. You have a few days to prepare. Um, okay, okay. Well, this is this is day one of preparation. But I believe over here to the left, I saw where the uh, the meteorite struck. Oh, looks like um looks like Lee's gave me a lightsaber. Uh, hopefully, I can make my own. Hopefully, I won't need your one, Lee. I'll stick with my weapon for now. I think I saw on the uh, the map a meteorite down here. Uh, so yeah, no one touch anything there. I want to see what it looks like firsthand. But I'm pretty sh pretty sure I saw something on the map. Oh, here we go. A few stars down here. I've already got a bunch of these at the house as well, so it's kind of useful having uh, a few more. 
I can't remember what the uh, the material's called. I think it might be called meteorite, and uh, you can use that to craft all of the uh, the fancy shiny weapons. So hopefully, I should be approaching it. Let me have another quick look on the map. And um, there's me. There's the massive fishbowl head. And yeah, look, just over here to the left. That does look like a bit of a destruction place. It does look like there's been some sort of disaster. And the goblin army is approaching. A couple days to prepare. A few days to prepare. Yeah, right, Lombo. Way to give me a false sense of security. They're attacking already. <laughs> right, I've got to have a quick look down here because I'm here. Oh, look at it. Oh, look. Oh, there's a... What was that thing? I don't know. But look, look at all this stuff down here. What is this stuff? Yeah, meteorite. And why am I getting... What's hurting me? What's constantly hurting me? Oh, look. There's weird flaming balls. Meteor head was that? Oh, I think I'm getting hurt as I stand on that stuff because it's all hot still. I think that's what it is. But I think I need to try and be safe as I try and get it. And oh, there's something else going after me here. Lucky it's becoming day. I'm very hurt right now. I've only got two and a half thingies. Oh, and the goblin army has, has arrived. And they're coming from the west, aren't they? Oh, look, here they are. The goblin army are here and I'm really weak. Come on, everyone needs to help me, please. I've only got one and a half hearts. And I'm not allowed to use another potion for 28 seconds. Right, I just need to hide in between them. And there's a meteorite thing coming. If I just survive long enough to have a health potion, I should be okay. Right, I'm going to use the, uh, the greater healing potion. That should get my health completely up. Then we can take out the goblin army. I feel like such a pansy for just hiding but there's not much else I can do right now. If it really comes down to it I can use my magic mirror and go back to the house. Right ignore that meteorite stuff for now. We'll gather that later. For now we're going to take on the goblin army. Right okay let's have a healing potion shall we? Oh no what I used the magic mirror. I didn't mean to do that. And oh look they're attacking the house. Oh they're all in my house. Get out leave me alone goblin army. Get back get back get back. Oh no they're all properly in my house. Leave me alone leave me alone leave me alone. Oh my god look at Lee. Look at Lee going in with that really overpowered sword. Right I'm going to take out these guys on this side. They're attacking from the east as well as the west. Oh my god, look at that sword. That's like something out of Final Fantasy or something. There's loads of them. It probably is a goblin army. They don't mean one or two little goblins. There's goblin thieves down there. There's also a goblin warrior, goblin mages and all sorts. They're probably going after me. Right, time to use the bombs. Deploy the bombs! Deploy the bombs! I don't care if I'm destroying my landscape. As long as I don't destroy my house, I'll be fine. Right, go after them. Go and take them all out. I can't believe how ridiculous I look with this fishbowl on my head. I just gotta be the first person to ever charge into battle with a fishbowl on my head. And I'm kind of honored. I'm kind of honored that I'm the first person to do that. Right, have another health potion if I can. Oh, the something was slain? The demonist? The demonist was slain, was he? I'll have another healing potion. Oh, look at them all up here. Get back, you fiends. Get back, you silly, ugly goblins. Oh, look at this weapon. Look at me go. I don't even need my army. 1v50, Stampy takes the victory. Come on, is that the goblin army gone? Are they still attacking? They're getting pretty relentless down here. Oh, they're still attacking from the west, everyone. They're still attacking from the west. Right, I'm going after them. We need to push them back. We need to push them back and take out their leader. That's the way we're going to defeat them. Go on, everybody, go. Oh, look at just the goblin heads littering the floor. There's a goblin sorcerer down here, like, spraying stuff everywhere. Some sort of weird purple magic. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm taking the fight to them. I don't want to fight on my own ground. I'm going on the offensive. Forget running. Forget playing defensives. Defe forget hiding like a pansy. I'm going after these goblins. What's going to go on? Do we just keep fighting them until they're all gone? Do we have to take their leader? They're just spawning everywhere. Literally any little cave, any little crevice. Like every different direction. There's just goblins charging us. <laughs> I can't believe that I've just survived this long. I really thought... Uh, one of these times I would have been killed, but I'm doing all right. I'm taking them all out. I'm sure if I was doing this by myself, it'd be a different story. I'm very glad that Longbow and Choo Choo decided to join, like, partway through the video. And Lee's been with me from the start. Is that them all gone? It's all gone a bit quiet. The music's getting pretty funky still, though. Are there any more goblins anywhere? I'm, I'm just going to keep charging this way. It said that they were coming from the west, so I guess if they do have some sort of fortress or stronghold it would be in this direction. Oh, oh no, this is that, that's that hot meteorite stuff again though. Oh look, oh look, there's one down there. Is that it? Are we done? Are we victorious? Have we defeated the goblin army? Uh, let me have a quick look on the map and just see if there's a load of mobs anywhere. Um, 
There seems to be- Oh god, I think that's Longbow. Yeah, Longbow's by himself. Right, I so said I'm gonna magic mirror back to the house. I'm gonna help out Longbow. He seems to be trying to take out too many of them by himself. I'm coming, Longbow, it's alright. I'm gonna take out all of these goblin warriors and these- What's that, a goblin thief? Oh, oh, he defeated it! Defeated the goblin army? <laughs> I don't believe you, I'm still fighting them. <laughs> well, what does this mean then? What does it mean that I've defeated the goblin army? Do I get something special? Do I get like some sort of a trophy? Can I, can I get like a plaque that says like Stampy defeated the goblin army 2013? Isn't he amazing? <laughs> I think I might just put down a sign that says that anyway, just so I can say to everyone. Even though I'm sure everyone else in this game has probably defeated the goblin army twice and does it three times on weekends just for fun. I'm proud of myself. I defeated an army with the help of a lot of other people. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know what happens now. I'm going to go back to the... Um, that meteorite place and uh, start gathering some stuff. Oh, I got a harpoon. Did I get that during the battle or did someone throw stuff to me? There was like a complete blur. You know when like tragic things and dramatic things are supposed to happen, like you're supposed to see it in third person. Like I swear I see everything sped up when something like that happens. Like everything was just a massive blur. And oh, I got the, uh, the demonologist has arrived. Is that gonna be another guy moving into my house, into my hotel, sorry? A, a new guest to steal one of my rooms or make his little bed inside of my bathroom or something. <laughs> oh well, my hotel is always open. I'm always open to have more guests arriving and stuff. <laughs> and like, I'm, I'm gonna have to speak to um people that know stuff after the game to find out uh, what opportunities this has opened up. I'm assuming um, it mainly just means that I'm going to have this guy moving into my house and plus I can get all of this stuff. And I think this stuff's pretty rare actually. I think that the only way you can get this is by having the meteorite fall. So um, yeah, make the most of this guys. <laughs> Everyone seems to be mining it. I hope they're mining it to give to me and they're not going to put it all into their pockets and do a big runner. And it's so hot. It's so difficult mining it. Oh, I'm dying here. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get some high ground. <laughs> oh no, oh, it's a meteorite head that's going after me. I guess they just keep spawning round down here. Right, okay, I'm going I'm to go down. I'm going to try and help mine some of this stuff. Then I'm going to see what I can craft. I believe you use this stuff and then, oh no, God, I'm going to die. Yeah, I think you use this stuff and you combine it with some of the, uh, like, the pretty, like, rocks. You know, things like amethysts and all sort of stuff like that. I think you combine them to make, like, lightsabers. Uh, so very quickly before the end of the video, I'm going to head back to my house and, yeah, see if I can craft any new pretty items. Uh, let me look to my into my pretty chest. Here we go. These were my pretty items. So do I want a green one? Uh, that kind of orangey one. Ruby one. Sapphire or amethysts. Okay, I want to save the green one because I think I need to make a lot of green torches to light up the top of my tree. Uh, so I think, I'll, I think I'll go for purple. I'll go for a purple one. And oh, look at my inventory. <laughs> right, um, Lee, I'm going to put your, your lightsaber in a chest up here for you, mate. <laughs> and Lee, I'm um, Longbow, sorry. You, didn't, you shouldn't have left the game. I've still got your goldfish on my head. I'm going to have to give that back to you at some point. Uh, right, actually, let me just dump something else in the chest because my inventory is completely like full and it's going to be a mess if I'm trying to craft stuff with all of this open. So let me just go and put some plants down in here. Uh, I'll put a, a fish in there for now as well. Just to empty out my inventory a bit. Right, I think I need to go to the anvil. And then... Uh, weapon should be here. And let, let's see let's see what I can make. Um, where, where is it? Where, where are lightsabers then? Is it, is it in this area? I mean, maybe I can't make them yet. Or maybe I don't have enough of that, that demonite stuff on me. Um, how much have I got? Uh, no, that, that's not the right thing. I don't think I've got enough on me. Oh, there we go. Meteorite. I think I might have to, to make it into like a meteorite ingot or block or something, maybe? Um, let, let's have a look, see if I can work this out. Well, here we go. I need to make it into a meteorite bar. There we go. Now let's see if I can make some. If any of you got any more meteorite on you, if you throw them to me, because I'm not actually sure uh, if I've got enough on me right now. Oh, here we go. Uh, what, what do I need? Oh, I need 20. Have you got any more on you? I, I need... How much How much more do I need? I've got, I've, I've got three, so I need seven more. Have you, have you got any on you, Lee, that you can throw to me so I can uh, see if I can quickly make one of these lightsabers? Oh, there we go. I, I got 11 more, so I still don't have enough, do I? Oh, no, that was just the ore as well. Oh, I, need, I need loads more of it. Um, right, let me, let me see if I can make a bunch more. How much can I make? Uh, I still think I'm not going to be able to, to make one this video, sadly. That's annoying. I wanted to make a pretty purple one. Um, there we go. 20. No, I don't think I've got enough. Have you got any more on you, uh, Choo Choo? 
Do you have any more of the uh, the meteorites? See if I can get enough to to make one. Uh, I I need I need quite a lot more as it is. <laughs> uh, I don't think he has any on me. Obviously, he might have thrown it to me. Okay, so sadly, I can't make a lightsaber this video. Uh, but once I've gone and harvested uh, all of the rest of that meteorite, hopefully I should be able to make at least one lightsaber. I mean, surely. I mean, I got a whole a whole crater, a whole meteor just went and crashed. Surely uh, I got to have enough just to make one. Let me just go and change this into a bar and see how close I get. Uh, I've only got three. I've only got three bars. Um... Okay, okay, so yeah, so I can't do it this video, sadly, but in the next video, uh, I'm gonna have a go. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. This was a lot more dramatic than I assumed. I thought I was just gonna go down to the corruption for a bit, fight some eaters. I ended up, like, having a meteorite crash on my land and fighting an entire goblin army. <laughs> jolly good, jolly good. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you all later. Bye!